Hi YouTube, this is Archaki Developer with a developer tutorial for Xcode Interface Builder in iOS Simulator on how to create a UI alert view which will pop up once a button is clicked. So basically what the UI alert view is, is it's a pop-up that um, shows some text and has a close button and it's usually used to indicate that something has happened. So let's jump right into the code. We're going to create a new project with Xcode and we're going to choose a view based application and let's just name this UI Alert View. So here is our UI Alert View and let's go into the classes and let's go to the view controller. So here in the view controller we're going to create a button and then when that button is pressed we're going to create an alert. So, to create the button, we're going to say open alert. We're going to create an ID action called open alert. And then here we're going to implement it. And the code for the UI alert view is UI alert view error. Let's just say the error equals UI alert view allocate init with title let's just make this an alert view that says your iPhone is broken so broken iPhone and the message is your iPhone is broken please take it to the Apple store The, the, the delegate will, is going to be self. Cancel button title is okay. Uh, and other button titles will be new. Let's just close this. So let me explain this line of code. Basically, we're going to create a UI alert view called error. And then the title of the alert view is going to be broken iPhone. So that's going to be the big words at the top. And then the message below it's going to be your iPhone is broken, please take it to the Apple Store. And then to close the alert, you're going to press the OK button. And that's all there is to it. And now, over here, let's show it. So error show. And then we're going to release it from the memory. So error release. And save. And that'll be all the code. Now let's go into our UI alert view view controller. Here's our view. Drag in a button. And let's just call it broken iPhone. And when the user clicks on it, we're gonna as you can see we have the received actions in the files owner. So we're gonna drag that to the broken iPhone. Touch up inside. Oops. Touch up inside over here and save and now our code is done so basically when someone taps that button it should come up with an alert that says broken iPhone your iPhone is broken please take it to the Apple store so it's installing and here's our code as you can see here's the broken iPhone button and when I tap it it says, broken iPhone, your iPhone is broken, please take it to the Apple Store. I tap anywhere else, it doesn't work. I tap OK, close it. So this can be useful for a variety of features. If you've checked out my video that shows you how to download images to your photo library, you can see how this can be useful. So I hope this tutorial was very easy to follow and helped you, out, helped you guys out. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, if you want the source code for this, which is only a couple lines of code, uh, go ahead and message me or send me a comment or something, and I'll email it to you. And please subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks.